What's up superstars, it's Matt here. In today's video, we're gonna be having some fun and making a huge DTF print. This print is gonna be a 15 by 20, and normally you wouldn't print a design this big, but we're gonna be pushing some boundaries today. We're gonna to be also accomplishing this with the white knockout effect by removing the white and using the white shirt as the background to allow for breathability. First, let's talk about this design. We generated this from Midjourney AI. It's a samurai with armor from a white porcelain. We added some extra prompts to really make the details and colors pop. With an image like this, you could print the whole 15 by 20 image, but it will look super heavy and you don't wanna feel like you're wearing a bag. By knocking out the white in the design, we'll be able to use the white from the t-shirt fabric and make a really cool and breathable print. The challenging part of this white knockout effect is actually the small details in this effect. We want to preserve as much of the bright colored details so we don't lose any of them in the transfer because that's what really gives the image its pop. So let's drive right into the tutorial. And as that added bonus, we're going to be giving this sample shirt to a random viewer. So watch till the end for details. Hello everyone, my name is John and I'm a graphic designer for Transfer Superstars. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a white knockout effect on this artwork. The first thing we need to do is check the quality of the artwork. Currently, it's at 72 DPI and very small, just 14 by 14 pixels. While the dimensions are correct, it still appears quite pixelated. So we're going to use a tool called the Upscale tool. You simply drag the image right here. I'll include the link in the description for this one. After you've dragged it in, simply click on Upscale. You can even choose the destination folder and press the Upscale button. It might take a while, but once it's done, let's check the outcome of the upscaled image to see if it's significantly better than the original. Oh, that was pretty quick. You can actually see it already right here. It's added a lot more contrast, which likely means it did a very good job. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. It's now 56 by 56, though it's still at 72 DPI, but that's not a problem since we're downscaling it to 15 inches and converting it to 300 resolution. Let's close this old one and proceed with the white knockout effect. The first thing we'll need to do is make a duplicate layer of this one so that we always have a backup, just in case we want to change something in the original file. That would be a great help if ever we mess something up. After making a copy, simply right click on it, select duplicate to create another copy, and then click new. Let's turn it into a grayscale. After that, let's go to the adjustments layer. First, I'll select curves and adjust the lighting to something like this for a great effect. Create a new layer. Use the fill tool and fill the layer with white. The white layer should be on top of the artwork and then we'll go to the blending options and set it to difference. So it will now look like this. Let's merge both of these layers by selecting them and choosing merge layers. Let's press Ctrl Z. You can also press Ctrl E to merge them like this. Then we go to adjustments and select levels. As I've explained before, the white areas will remain while the black areas will be knocked out. So we really need to find a sweet spot for this image that we think will look good once it's been knocked out. And of course, this is always a case-by-case -case scenario, so the values may vary for each image. If you have a different image, you can always experiment for yourself to find the effect you're looking for. I think maybe something like this would be good. Something like this. Then let's go to Image Mode Bitmap, Flatten Layers, and press OK. Make sure it's in 300 DPI and don't change anything here, so that when you paste it onto the other layer, it will align perfectly on top. And for the halftone screen, the pixels per inch and the frequency, it's actually case by case, but most of the time, 35 to 40 works really well. Since it's stable, let's go with 35 for this one. The angle should be 22 degrees, then let's press OK. They have to see it's coming out really well. Right, in this area as well, it's great. Let's try to see it in the actual artwork and go back to the original project file and create a mask right here. Press Alt and left click on the mask layer to select it. Then paste what you've copied from here into the mask layer by pressing Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy, then go back here and press Ctrl V to paste. Once it's pasted, deselect by pressing Ctrl D and turn the visibility back on. It looks pretty good and I'm actually very satisfied with how it turned out. Let's try placing it on a white background. Oh, that looks really good. It's very impressive. And yeah, we can even place it on a light colored background. It should work just fine. And this means you can put it on shirts that are light colored. 
If we put it on a dark colored shirt, it'll look really weird like this. So a light colored one would be better. Maybe a cream color. Yeah, so let's delete that and trim this artwork by pressing Alt-I-R, then select Trim. Now the empty pixels around the artboard have disappeared, so we can get an exact measurement of our artwork. Let's say it's going to be 13 inches by 18, something like this. Let's save it. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for a white knockout with a halftone effect. Thank you so much for watching. All right, there you guys have it. We printed this oversized detailed samurai design. It's ready to press. But before showing you guys all the details, if you guys didn't know already, we do print quality vibrant DTF transfers, whether you need a DTF supplier, a backup printer, or even adding DTF to your screen printing shop. We are here to help. So if you guys wanna place your order, go to transfersuperstar.com or even click on the link down below. All right, let's get back to this transfer. Okay, so I did want to mention that we did make some changes on the sizing, but I'll cover that in a bit. Let's just take a closer look at this design. So most of this design is transparent, except for the blue details. So when you turn this around, you can actually see what's left after the white knockout. It is not very solid at all and it is very breathable. And most importantly, the half tone and the knockout was done properly. So, let's do some measurements. As I mentioned earlier, we did make a size change. So instead of a 15 by 20, it is now down to a 13 by quarter width and a 19 by quarter height. Since we are using the Heatmaster Prisma with its 16 by 20 layout, the 19 inch height will work better here, leaving me a half an inch on each side. All right, for blanks, we got this BTSA heavyweight jersey tee. The SKU is gonna be a JOY001. A standard fit does come in extra small all the way to 4XL. This one is a size large, has colors from heather gray to jet black. This one's an optic white. And yeah, we're just gonna do some basic measurements just going up from the top all the way to the bottom. 28 on the height, 22 quarter for the width. For heat presses, you know we had to go with the Heatmaster Prisma with its 16 by 20 platform. Makes pressing this transfer possible and its 10 inch pullout already makes this press functionality perfect for any transfer. Also to top it off, you could thread the shirt. With solid pressure all around, I am confident this press will get the job done. All right, let's get to pressing. All right guys, we're gonna do a quick three second pre-press just to get all the moisture out. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a different method from the traditional aligning tool. We're gonna to be using our four fingers. So we're gonna put this on here with our middle point. We're gonna have it four fingers. And to give you guys a rough, like this will be the set, I kind of even go based off of a ruler. This is three. Now what we're gonna do is actually put some heat resistant tape so when we pull it up, nothing's gonna move. the seven second press we do recommend you wait for 15 seconds but you can just peel right away uh, with our peels it's a hot and cold press peel all right let's take a look Take a closer 
closer look at it it looks great um i even love the small half tone gradients on towards the shading of of his armor of that porcelain armor it looks good it's very well detailed i gotta give it to our designers even from the platform very lifelike looks great all right so there you guys have it superstars that's how you do a white knockout effect while preserving the tiny details in your print i hope this tutorial has been helpful don't forget to bookmark it for future reference we hope this levels up your dtf and yes i did promise one lucky winner this shirt so please head over to the comments below and drop us a comment letting us know what your favorite blank apparel brand is and which one you would like to use and where you're from We'll also choose one lucky random winner in a few weeks, and now it's time for me to sign off. But before I go, I want to thank all you guys all for watching. Your support means the world to us. If you guys haven't already, please give this video a like and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.